As gaming spreads, cyberbullying has become a much bigger social issue. In gaming, cyberbullying takes place quite often through means like text chats, voice chats, etc. People who cyberbully don't need to worry about the consequences of their actions as these words come with anonymity. While this gives gamers freedom of speech, it is also a considerable issue because it gives players the ability to harass, deliver hate speech, give threats of violence, and a lot more. The worst part being, players' ability to dox others, sending their private information, and grief. Avoiding the game's goal entirely to deliberately annoy, irritate, and harass others. A study conducted to test this showed that of a thousand people, more than half of them were harassed in-game with relation to race or ethnicity, gender, ability, or religion. 64% of the people even went on to talk about how the toxicity impacted their lives, 11% even suffering from depression or suicidal thoughts. These numbers accurately represent the amount of people that are harassed in-game. Additionally, this rampant toxic behavior almost always targets girl gamers, discouraging them from playing games that they might otherwise enjoy. Another significant factor to the gaming world's toxicity is the social dominance theory that comes across as extremely similar to a social hierarchy structure. In STT, players exert their social dominance through acts of cruel like body shaming in which they use traits like dominance and aggression. They do this in order to seek power, more social control, and more respect than others. In a player's eye, doing this requires them to bully others in order to establish their masculinity. Extremely frequent toxic experiences result in more gamers exceeding the aggression needed to actively game. For which reason, we think in-game interactions have to be radically changed for the better. It is important to be aware of the fact that cyberbullying is currently happening all across the world and is a very important matter. Just last month, when I was playing a game of Overwatch, I met this person who was yelling at his teammates. He was fuming, shouting, and yelling out all sorts of insults. He also in fact told his teammates to even uninstall the game. After a couple of more minutes of insulting later, the other teammates started leaving. And soon, just me and the aggressor was left. I asked him what happened and he told me that the others messed up during the last game and he didn't want to be teamed with them anymore, so he told them to leave. A survey by Life Science has shown that out of the 100 students they surveyed, 23 of them reported being cyberbullied, and 15 of the 100 students reported bullying someone themselves. Cyberbullying is really important to us as students because it correlates to academic performances. Many researchers have shown that not only cyberbullying can lead to poor academic performances, but can also cause anxiety, depression, low self-esteem, family problems, and many more social issues that will cause the victims to become detached from society. In the worst case scenario, it might even cause the victim to commit suicide out of loss of hope for humanity. Listen to this good tips on how you can battle bullying. Mew. Why can't you solve an option? But as we all know, that these people that bully you in particular can be the ones that are closest or just friends and families that you don't want to avoid. It is totally understandable. So this leads me to the next point. Stop giving them what they want. People normally want to feel important and empowered. Therefore, you should know by now that there are good things and bad things in life. Look at these problems like something that will pass and good will come in the future. What you can do about bullies though is simply not care and act like you don't. A good example is a bully doing his thing and you responding with kindness. Always be kind. Being kind will not only keep you sane, but it will help you stay better with yourself. Apart from everything bad they might say, you only have to respond with kindness and compassion. This is the best way to do it. This method will only work for you and you only. Sometimes though, other bullies might see that you don't want trouble and they'll just leave you. Prevention is one of the best ways to stop cyberbullying from happening as a whole. Cyberbullying can stem from anywhere, from random internet forums to the new biggest game. Cyberbullying is such a big issue because it makes people feel less than what they could be. But video games and social media work differently. Video games like Fortnite allow for an easy mute system as well as a report system. These features make the bullying less of a problem. Then why should I have to help? 
I hear you asking yourself through whatever you're watching this on. The report system changes in each game, but they have the same premise, with you being able to file a report against another player for things like bad behavior or inappropriate language. Well, most of the time, these cases go unnoticed because the victim is too afraid to call for help from anyone, from parents, teachers, or even friends. However, this is where help can come from other places, like from us, from you, or from me. So with all that in mind, help us stop cyberbullying by sharing this with a friend or family member.